Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to Islamic Kids National. Now, we haven't posted a video in a very long time and we thought this time we should post a video on the Holy Quran as a fun educational lesson for kids because the Holy Quran is very important part in Islam and we are about to find why. Find out why. So, let's begin this lesson. Before we begin, let's look at some new words that we will be looking at in this lesson. So, hadith. Hadith is a collection of traditions that contain sayings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ramadan. Of course, we've discussed this in a lot of our lessons. And we all know that it is the ninth month in the Muslim year, or the Islamic calendar, when we fast from sunrise to sunset. Now, guidance and teach are some words we haven't looked at before. Guidance means showing someone the right way, like the good path. And teach means how show, showing or explaining how to do something, which is what a teacher does. So now that we know what these mean, let us think about these questions. Why do you think we need to read the Quran? Why and when was the Quran sent down to mankind? Let's have a brief look at this. So why do we need to read and understand the Quran? Well, the Quran gives you knowledge about all aspects of life, such as the good deeds and bad deeds and how to live and become a good Muslim. It also brings you near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you read it and become attached to it and, you, and will be a proof of the rewards of your good deeds on the Day of Judgment. So on the Day of Judgment, reading the Quran is going to give you points. And the more points you have, the more chance you have to go to Jannah. So this is why the Quran is very important. And it teaches us about this world, how we live in this world, and the good things and the bad things about this world. So why and when was the Quran sent down to mankind? Well... This uh, hadith, this um, I this uh, translation from Surah Al Baqarah says the Quran was sent down to Earth during the month of Ramadan as a guidance for mankind and clear proofs of guidance and the principles of right and wrong. So this is basically a summary of what we just talked about, that the Quran basically was sent down to mankind during the month of Ramadan to guide us. And by showing us the principles of right and wrong, by showing us what's good, what's bad, how we live in this world, and how we become a good Muslim. So as it says here, aspects of life, good deeds and bad deeds. This is what this phrase is saying. So let's look at these five things. The Quran is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a book that Muslims follow and learn from it is a book that teaches us about Allah it teaches us how to live in this world and become good Muslims and always remember that we turn the Quran pages from right to left so our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the best person among you is the one who learns the Quran and teaches it to others by doing this Allah will really appreciate you and be proud of you and you will earn yourself more points to becoming a better Muslim which is also good for the Day of Judgment, as we said earlier. So let's do an activity now. We're going to write the correct symbol for correct answer and the wrong symbol for false answer. False meaning wrong. So let's look at this first one. It says we read the Quran from right to left. This is true, so we will add a tick here because yes, we do read it from right to left. Now, the best person is the one who learns and teaches the Quran to others. This is what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the Hadith we just read earlier. We shouldn't learn from the Quran. This is wrong because the Quran was sent down to mankind for us to learn. The main purpose of it is for us to learn the good things. So, the Quran was sent as a guidance to mankind. Yes, this is true. And if you want to see the proof, we had it right here. The guidance for mankind. The Quran doesn't show us about good deeds and bad deeds. This is wrong, false, because it does show us about good deeds and bad deeds, what we're supposed to do and what we're not supposed to do. We turn the Quran pages from left to right. Now it says left to right, not right to left. 
It's supposed to be from right to left. So this is also wrong. We'll put the wrong symbol there. And there you have it. I really, really hope you enjoyed this lesson and thanks a lot for watching. We haven't made videos in a very long time. So I hope you enjoyed this and it was fun. Keep learning and sharing with others. And remember this hadith that the best person among you is the one who learns the Quran and teaches it to others. And I make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.